Hey guys, this is Kristen from KristenCoaching.com. Thank you so much again for joining me today for this video. We're going to be talking about how being complacent in a relationship can be detrimental. And we wanna talk about ways that we can avoid being complacent in our relationships that we have with our significant others. So basically, I think it's important to define what complacency is in the first place, and we can discuss why it's so detrimental. Basically, the idea of, of being complacent really just has to do with kind of a sense of overall self-satisfaction. And when we translate that into the relationships with our significant others, it's more like feeling that your relationship is good and solid, and therefore you don't have anything to work on. You don't have any goals in place, you don't have any tasks to do, you know, we're all just very happy with how things are. And unfortunately, if we're feeling complacent in a relationship, that can be a really silent killer for relationships because slowly over time, things will kind of die down in terms of the connection with your significant other and things that you know kind of made you fall in love in the first place. Um, a lot of times there's other relationship factors that happen that are complicated and can cause um, strains and rifts. And so the more time that we're complacent, we think that the problems have to do with other things in the relationship when really it's the fact of you know, being outside of that like core solid foundation and not realizing that there are some things that you and your significant other have to do to um, keep your relationship strong and solid. You know, the foundation needs to be rock hard and good. And that way all the other things that surround your relationship can be healthy as well. Um, so it really affects a lot of couples over time. And so I wanna, I really wanted to make this video to really bring awareness to that and have you kind of analyze um, if your relationship is looking complacent um, and if so you know what can you do about it so we're gonna dive into it and talk about some things of how you can avoid being caught in this situation you know anytime you're feeling like you and your other half are just kind of riding the wave and feeling good and you know again not really working on things that can be a sign that um, you know you guys should be working on things because yeah, there's always something to work on just like we work on ourselves as individuals just like we work on ourselves with the jobs that we have we want to be the best employee we can be we want to we want to look in in front of our boss you know that's kind of the same thing with relationships we want to be the best partner we can be for our other halves we want to do what we can what we can in order to make our relationship happy and healthy so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just in general Always strive to be the best partner you can be. This helps reduce the complacency in your relationship. You know, asking your partner and sitting down with him or her and being like, hey, you know, what do I do well? What can I do better in our relationship? You know, is there something that, you know, that I can improve on that you've noticed? Just even if it's just a little thing, just something that would make you, you know, a little bit more happier and content. You know, having a sit down conversation with your significant other about things that you can do to just better yourself as a partner, better yourself as a lover, better yourself as just, you know, the other half um, of your partner is a really good idea. I think we always want to strive being our best selves and we're constantly changing and molding and, and, you know, being hopefully better people, you know, day in and day out. Um, so we want to make sure that we are doing that in our relationship as well. So have a conversation with your significant other. See what you can do to improve yourself. Also, you know, have a conversation with yourself. You know, what, what have I been lacking on lately? What can I improve, of, improve on? You know, it's really just kind of a self-awareness and a self-analysis thing. Um, but I definitely suggest that you do that. And the second thing that you can do um, in order to reduce, uh, you know, being complacent in a relationship is having relationship goals, setting some tasks that you and your significant other really want to achieve together. Is there, you know, any places that you want to go and, and travel in the world together? Is there anything you want to accomplish in terms of, um, you know, a relationship? Like, do you want to start a family? Uh, is there something that, you know, if you do want to start a family, what kind of parents do you want to be? What kind of you know, what kind of goals can you set for yourselves that you are able to attain? And once you attain those goals, think about more goals that you can do. But always have something that you and your partner are striving towards together really unites you guys as a team and a unit. And it makes you healthier and more solid and really on the same page so you guys can 
can go for it and just experience life together um, in, a, in a great way. And this will help you not drift apart because that's the last thing that we want to do in our relationships. We don't want to drift apart from our significant other. The last thing that you can do um, in order to reduce being complacent in a relationship is to make new memories together. You know, go out, have fun, have new ad new adventures. You know, again, just any time where you're feeling like you don't need to do new things or work on new things and you're just feeling really satisfied in your, in your normal routine. And I just have to say, having a routine is great. It's healthy to do. I want you to do that. That being said, even within your routine, you're gonna wanna shake things up a bit. You're gonna wanna have new memories. You're gonna wanna enjoy yourself. Uh, you're gonna wanna get out and have adventures together. Because I think the more memories that you create as a couple, you know, um, the more fun experiences you have, you'll enjoy your time together as a couple, and it'll just kind of change things a little bit here and there, um, so you're not feeling like you're in this redundant routine and relationship where nothing is changing and you're not going anywhere and you have no goals to do. Um, that's not a place that you want to be in. So hopefully these few tips will really help you out um, to just help, you know, make things new and exciting and make you be the best partner that you can be. Um, in your relationship. This is something that I try to do as much as possible and even this video is reminding myself that you know I can think of things that I can improve on and so I'm going to be uh, doing that and making that my goal this week of being the best partner I can be. So I hope that you guys do that too. Um, please feel free to comment below or ask me any questions and I'll get back to you as soon as possible on that and I'll see you guys next time for my next video and you take care. Bye.